Britain is a Christian country, according to our Prime Minister David Cameron. Is it now? What happens in Britain if you're a Christian and try to live your life according to Christian principles? What happens if you're, for example, Sarah Mbai? The problem comes from this idea of tolerance. Tolerance means being open to everything. But here you go. As a Christian, I'm not open to everything, and I'm not afraid to say it. Sarah worked as a nursery nurse uh, and was engaged one day in conversation by a colleague uh, who started asking her her views about gay marriage. Sarah answered honestly. Two days later, she was sacked. Uh, we've tried repeatedly, of course, to uh, get the views from the daycare centre where Sarah used to work, but uh, to no avail. What happened exactly? Um, so, the fact are these ones. Um, I was minding children with the person, yeah. and uh, obviously she knew I was Christian, that's, that wasn't a secret. And uh, so we started asking each other about, you know, how was your holiday, blah, 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 what's your plans for the future? And uh, one thing leading to another, basically I remember her, uh, I was asking her, how are you feeling now? Because she was recovering from a, an accident and uh, she was saying to me, I'm, I'm fine now. So I was like, wow, praise God. And when I said that, she suddenly asked me, are you Christian or are you born again? And this, the question really, really took me off guard. I never expected her to ask me that. She started saying that she wouldn't mind, she said something like she wouldn't mind being Christian, but she couldn't be part of something that hated her. And I said to her, God does not hate you, which is the truth. Um, but later on, she said something like, oh yeah, I think, it's not exactly her words, I'm just paraphrasing, like, yeah. I think God would be okay with basically what I'm doing. And I, that's when I said no. <laughs> I said to her, if I tell you that God is okay with that, namely homosexuality, then I'm lying to you. There, there was an allegation as well that you refused to read a book on diversity. No, it wasn't a book on diversity. I was asked during my disciplinary meeting, what would you do if we ask you to read gay stories to children? And I said I wouldn't do it. I said I would ask management to be exempt from it. So that was a totally hypothetical question yeah, yeah, anyway? Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. They would say then that you're in breach of contract. That's it, yeah. That's what they said to me. And I said, in that case, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. You're now pursuing this as a case of unfair dismissal, are you? Yeah. Uh, an unfair dismissal on the grounds that you are a Christian and are being persecuted, presumably. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Let's say, okay. I don't feel like a victim. Let's be clear about that. I don't feel like a victim. Given the fact that personally I know that I've got God's back, I'm not a victim. But uh, what I'm saying is that it is obvious that we live in a climate where being Christian, or should I say, you know, trying to be Christ like, following the Bible as much as we can and being honest about that, being open about that becomes a problem now. So we have to be pretty clear about this. When David Cameron says it's a Christian country and talks about Christian morals, it is not a Christian country if Christians can't abide by their beliefs and uh, uh, upon pain of so doing are summarily sacked, which happens more and more often as we've seen in the case of Sarah. And it doesn't matter if you think she's a bigot, people are allowed to be bigots. So it's lovely we live in a Christian country, according to uh, the Prime Minister. That must have cheered you up. I think that it's Christianity on David Cameron's terms. That's what's really concerning. I think it's also very uh, confusing. This comes immediately after the first gay marriages, you know, immediately after really upsetting, uh, really making us lose our trust. Our yes, it's, it's the nice Christianity you want, isn't it's it? It's nice Christianity. It's not the strictures, the stuff that Christians would argue God tells us we have to do. None of that. And the, and the reality is this for uh, David Cameron. God cannot be confined to his political agenda. He cannot be confined. And those that really believe first in obedience to God and out of that to love their neighbour... Um, as they love themselves. I mean, this is a very high command, but the first commandment isn't, as David Cameron said, love your neighbour. The first commandment is to love, love God. God. Yeah. It's a question of how intolerant we should be of intolerance, isn't it? Would you think that's right? 
Well, I think it boils down to the issue of discrimination. Views are one thing, and you know, I think we have to be very careful about you know, penalising anyone for holding a particular viewpoint unless they're harassing someone or inciting violence. But when it comes to active discrimination, I think once you open the door to one issue, what's to stop you know, a white racist teacher from saying, I don't want to teach black kids or I don't want to teach you know, black history? But, you know, I, I don't think there is a right to not be offended. Yeah. I mean, what she said about gay people, I found offensive, but I wouldn't then use my offence as justification well, for her being punished. You're only going to burn in hell, Peter. I mean, that's <laughs> what's offensive about that. Um, do you think we live in a Christian society, as David Cameron said? I think we did live in a Christian society, uh, but I don't think we do anymore. Now we can debate about the you know fi right figures, yeah, yeah. figures, but you know I, I would measure a Christian society by the people, not the institutions, but the people who adhere to the Christian faith.